Hello, my loves. Okay, I look all glam because I've been trying out new makeup and I'm obsessed. I just put on this Viral Dior lip product. What is this called? Okay, this is the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Seductive Sequin. The color is 620. The color is seductive. Um, but it's where you apply it to your lips. It's like a liquid lipstick and then you wait five minutes and it's matte and it dries and then you rub your lips together and it turns glittery. It's literally like the coolest thing ever. I'm obsessed and I think this color really suits me and is so beautiful. I love it. So I tried that out. Um, before that, I tried out this new, where did it go? Oh yeah. Before that, I tried out this new Chanel lipstick and this is the La Rouge 31 um, lipstick in this really beautiful packaging and it's kind of a similar color honestly but it's um, just a lipstick formula and it has a little bit of shimmer in it I think but I got this because it was limited edition I think this is so pretty so I love those too I also tried out this Forever Skin Glow Dior Foundation. I'm not really a foundation girl. I find it to be too heavy, but this is really nice. So if you don't like foundation, I think you would like that because it's really, it's like a very thin liquidy formula and it just feels so good on the skin and it looks really natural. And then lastly, I tried this Dior palette. This is the Blooming, yeah, Blooming Boudoir 002 um, Dior Show eyeshadow palette. And this packaging is insane. This is like the prettiest packaging I've ever seen. And these are the colors. I am still a little intimidated by color, okay? I don't know how I would wear orange. I don't know how I would wear that. Uh, I would use the dark ones, but today I just used the light brown kind of all over my lid and a little bit of the pink and then I highlighted with this white. So I'm a little intimidated by this, but I love it nonetheless. There's definitely colors in here that are not intimidating. But yeah, this was the final look. I think it turned out really pretty. So yeah, I'm doing another weekly vlog this week. Okay, this is usually where I film my makeup videos in my office. I still haven't set up my office. I keep telling you guys that I want to do this. Maybe I'll do it today. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna do it this week, if not today. But I always film like my makeup videos in here because the lighting is very nice for pretty much all day, but unfortunately this is the aftermath. And then in terms of the apartment, I have the Ikea mirror here. This mirror is really nice because I can move it around. And then the dining table. This mirror I've been loving. This is from Crate and Barrel. I also put this table here to try to hide my wi-fi it obviously doesn't look great from this angle but when you're over here you can't even really tell so that's my solution for now at least you can't see it when i'm in the mirror like this and this is how the fireplace is looking recently i posted a tutorial on tiktok on these ribbons for the candlesticks i think it looks so pretty it's really like festive without being too Christmassy yet. We're only in the beginning of November. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. And then this Dior holiday box is here still, or bag. This is their holiday packaging. It's so stunning. Actually, my campaign with Dior Beauty just got approved. It was for their holiday palette and um, a couple of their lip products. And I, like that is one thing that I need to celebrate and be really proud of because i had it on my vision board that i really wanted to work with dior beauty and i met the team during fashion week in september and i just i can't even believe that i got to work with them on this campaign like it's literally it's just actually a dream come true and something i've been working towards for so long and i'm really proud of myself. I feel like kind of weird saying that but it's just such a big deal to me and it feels so surreal and I'm so 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 grateful that 
I got the opportunity to do that and I love how it turned out and um, yeah I just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting me as well. I've been doing so much more beauty content this year and I've been loving it and I just it's so exciting. I am like so so grateful. And in my bedroom I showed you we mounted the TV. That was a little while ago and then I finally set up my bedside table a little bit more. I'll just turn this on. So this is what I added. Current books that I have been reading and have been wanting to read. The main thing I added was this lamp. This is actually from Indigo and it's kind of a really good replica for the Italian glass lamps. It's like a perfect rep replica and it's really beautifully made. I love it. It adds a lot of warmth to the room and it's it's so pretty. And then I have my little silk Gemini eye mask. I can link this below as well. I think this is so cute. And it's really comfortable. It's like really cushy. And then I added this little Misty or Blooming candle. I have this little box that I got from Poshmark. This angel that I also got from Poshmark. You can hang it on the wall though, so I might do that. I think it's just really cute. Some matches for a candle, hand cream, lip gloss, and a comb. And that's the bedside table. I got these little stuffies as well. This one is also from Chapters. Um, it's supposed to be a little deer, but it kind of looks like a goat, but I named her Bambi because she's still a deer to me. And then my friend Sarah got me this as a housewarming gift. It's so cute. I named this one Thumper. Very original names. But I love this bunny. It's so cute. This one is by Jelly Cat and she got the ear. I don't know if you can see. It says Crybaby. The ear embroidered because we're both Lil Peep fans. So it's just our little... She has a matching one so it's like our little matching cry baby bunnies so those are my besties and then i got this heated blanket from amazon which i will also link below this has been saving me i'm trying to not turn on my heat in my apartment until i absolutely have to because everyone says it's so expensive to heat your apartment so heated blanket for now and then i got this rug from wayfair i've been loving it rugs can be very hit or miss and they're also typically so expensive this rug was only like 250 bucks for an eight by nine foot, I believe, which is really cheap for this size rug. And I really like it. I searched through so many reviews and this one had really great reviews. Everyone said it was really soft and really easy to clean. And I agree so far. So if you guys want, I can link this as well. It's just been nice to get out of bed and not have freezing cold hardwood floor under my feet first thing. I threw on this crew neck because it's freezing in here. But this is one of my favorite sweaters. I love just like how long the sleeves are so they look all cute and bunched up like this. It's from Mad Happy obviously. But I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. I need to put all of this away. So I thought we could do a little deep clean together. I also got my my Dyson vacuum in the mail so I really need to unbox this and try it out. I think I will try to do that after I clean up a little bit but I literally you guys I haven't vacuumed like I haven't done a real vacuum I have, I have like a little handheld vacuum that I've used but I haven't done a real vacuum since I moved in so that's kind of disgusting and it's showing it's definitely showing honestly looking so much better this is literally my biggest pet peeve this has been burning for hours and you just know that that it's never gonna burn i 
and it oh, i feel like i have bad luck with candles because that always happens to me with candles but i do love this candle brand um this one smells amazing it doesn't smell like grapefruit at all to me i don't really like grapefruit and to me that's like kind of an odd combination it just smells like pine it smells really christmasy really good this one's really nice more sweet i definitely prefer this one though we're gonna finally unbox the dyson i'm just gonna get some scissors It's like 3.30 now and it literally gets dark. We just turned our clocks back. Yeah, we just turned our clocks back. So now the sun sets at 4.45, which is so depressing, but I'm gonna try to enjoy the sunset before sun fully goes away and get my body moving a little bit. It literally always makes me feel better. That's the plan. And then I might walk to go get sushi which I'm pretty excited about. My favorite sushi spot is closed today, so I'm gonna go to my second favorite, if I go. <laughs> and that is my evening plan. I'm very impressed with this Dior, uh, the glitter lip thing that I showed you. I forget the name already, the liquid lip thing. I had a whole lunch and a cup of tea, and I know it's kind of wearing off on the inside there, but for the amount that I just did to this, I'm very impressed. It's quite good. It's not much for a piece of my mind. style my hair I do think a lot of it has to do with your hair type and I have very like each strand of my hair is very thin and my hair loves to be like silky straight I need to go in with something to give your hair a little bit more texture if you need it I've been using the Gizu um, wave spray but you can use kind of anything like any texture spray or I like to use um, a mousse, like that's my favorite thing to use, but I don't have any. And then before I do each curl, I spray it with a liquid heat protectant, not like a cream one, so that my hair is at least a little bit damp. And I brush that through, and then I use it. And then you get like a nice bouncy curl. It's kind of hard to see with my dark hair, but... I sometimes pin the top ones, like this one, while they dry, but I'm gonna just leave this one, or not while they dry, while they cool, but I'll just kind of like let it cool more in my hand like this and try to keep the bounciness and that's it. And then when I finish my whole head, I spray it with a little bit of hairspray and I don't really brush out these curls because my hair just they'll fall. Okay. I'm gonna lightly spray with hairspray. 
And then I recently got this. It's from Oasis. It's the Mattifying Volume Powder. In my roots, this adds like a really weird texture to your hair, but kind of in a good way. Like it adds a lot of grip and a lot of volume for me. Here this is the final hair. Okay, I just finished getting ready, I got dressed. Even though I'm not really doing that much today, I feel like getting dressed and getting ready helps me feel a bit more productive. This sweater is actually thrifted. I got this from Value Village. I love shopping there. And these jeans are Levi 501s. Just like a really loose, baggy fit. That's the vibe. I think I want to try the Dyson now. It's fully charged, so... I'm gonna try to, yeah, use all the different attachments and see if we can figure those out and clean the house. And I'm pretty excited. Oh my God, okay, this is actually so sick. Like, it's so good. You can see all of the dust with this light and it's disgusting. I'll try to show you. Do you see that? finished the whole apartment and look at all of this dirt and dust that's disgusting and it shows you how much of it was dust dirt like dust mites really crazy I'm just running out the door to class um, <laughs> and I thought I would show you my outfit. I've been loving class lately and I just love ballet, especially in like the fall and winter. I don't know why, I just like like getting all cozy and I feel like a little nutcracker ballerina and I just, I love it. It's like the season that I enjoy going the most. I think also because the studio gets so hot in the summer and even this fall it was so hot. So I'm excited for it to not be so hot. But I'm just wearing this white leotard. This is from Block. Um, I'm wearing white tights, white leg warmers, yoga pants over. I'm wearing my Uggs because it is so cold. Sorry, this clip is chaotic. I'm gonna bring this Frankie's Bikinis skirt and my Repetto bag has just my water, headphones, hair tie, um, lipstick, lip gloss, and my shoes. Let's go. The kids are practicing for the Nutcracker, which is very exciting. Um, they're always practicing when my class ends, which is really cute, but I bought my tickets. So I'm going to that in December, which will be so fun. So yeah, it'll be fun to support my studio. I'm going with my friend. I think it'll be super cute. I'll definitely vlog it.